Uber quick review. Go! Hyperspace Pinball is a great concept for a game. You'd mix pinball with shmup elements. Inside Hyperspace Pinball, it is, well, exactly what I just said. You control the ball using flippers and you're trying to take out the glowy enemies in the middle. Imagine combining a regular pinball game with Geometry Wars. The whole point is to be able to kill enough enemies to get enough points to move on to the next stage. And it does this very well. Every time you die, it's mostly your fault. It is a pinball game, so there is some randomness to it, but not so much that you're going to feel like the game just doesn't know how to game. The music is also really good in Hyperspace Pinball. Seriously, these tunes rock. And the visuals in Hyperspace Pinball are also very futuristic and kind of cool. While the setting of a pinball machine can be very limiting in that sense, the game is still very flashy and really gives you the sense of a futuristic vibe. If I had anything to complain about Hyperspace Pinball is that there isn't more than one table. Going throughout the levels, you basically play on the same table over and over and over again, but with different enemies on it. Maybe, you know, sometimes these change or different things like that. But the table itself isn't that complex. There's no loops, there's no, you know, secret places that you can get into and makes it stay there. It's a very basic table. But at the same time, I understand that since the main objective is the game is to destroy the enemies and just score up some basic points. In conclusion, Hyperspace Pinball is a surprisingly fun game with an interesting twist on pinball games. Pinball games aren't that plentiful on Steam, so it was a great idea for them to try to do this. With everything that I've said, Hyperspace Pinball gets a solid B-. While the game is fun, it is a bit short-handed, there isn't a ton to do in the game, and there's only the one table, basically, to keep going on, but the gameplay itself is pretty fun, and the music is great along with the visuals. This has been Andrew Holmes for Ubercrit.com, and I will see you next time.